How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again dropping out another video. Sorry I've been shit dropping videos guys. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm not feeling too good to be honest with you, I feel like shit. Um, as you can see from the title, uh, I've reached 2,100 subscribers just 48 hours ago. I reached 2,000. I'm now up to 2,101. Uh, probably going up uh, as I'm doing this video and stuff. Um, crazy guys, support's going crazy. Uh, I was looking at my numbers before my statistics, how many viewers I've had, how many subscribers I've had, uh, people, how many minutes people have watched, how many people have shared it and stuff. Uh, it's going absolutely crazy, guys, and I'm very, very grateful for you guys. Um, reference the competition. The competition is still running. For those that don't know, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, two prison phones or two Zenkos, two Zenkos, prison phones, um, a signed book uh, with a video message from Reform Gangster Stephen French, and uh, a couple of bars of Black Soul, right? That's for the two top prizes. Then um, there's going to be uh, two separate prizes of uh, a sign book from Stephen French with a video message uh, and some black soap and stuff, right? It's not the best prize giveaway ever, is it? But it's better than a kick in the balls. It's a pound to enter, guys. Um, the more pounds you, if you put a fiver in, you've got five chances. If you put a pound, you've got one chance. Uh, currently, as it stands, there's only four people entered. Um, and th there's going to be, it's going to be, Two of them that get the top prize, and the other two are going to get the other two prizes. So you got, you've got Luke, you've got Kyle, you've got so you've got Luke, you've got Kyle, you've got Sean, and there is somebody else I can't think of the top of my head. So yeah, so like I say, uh, and I'm going to give a book uh, to Lee. Lee donated to my channel. He just he just gave me fifty quid, uh, and then he's, he's put more incense and stuff like that. Uh, to help me grow my channel and stuff, which is very much appreciated. If you want to donate to my channel, guys, or you want to enter the draw, uh, my bank details and my PayPal are in the description below. Uh, moving on from that, a subscribers asked me what I like to eat in prison. Well, I'm a big fat greedy bastard, and I love my food. Uh, in strange ways, um, I, I was really I suffered really bad because as a big growing guy, I, like I said, I'm six foot four, twenty odd stone, and I love my food. And when I was in strange ways, I lost two stone in six weeks on the HMP diet. Um, the portions are very meager, very small and stuff. Um, you get, a, a, you, when you go in at your dinner time and stuff, you walk across the hot plate, you'll get a brew pack, uh, some milk uh, and some cereal for the following morning. It's a kid sized portion of, uh, uh, of cereal and a tiny little milk, which are actually getting smaller as well. Um, you get your food, you walk off the hot plate, There'll be some. There'll be a cleaner that handing out bread. You want some bread? The bread's been left out for hours. It's all oxidised and stuff like cardboard. And in strange ways, you eat behind your door. You eat in your cell. Uh, my favourite meal in strange ways was definitely on a Wednesday. They used to do a, a baguette, right? Like a the fav my favourite one. I don't know what the other baguettes were, um, but on a Wednesday, I used to order the chicken tikka baguette, right? Which was like this, right? It's like a foot long, right? Loaded with chicken tikka. I absolutely fit uh, with a pack of Seabrook crisps, like cheese and onion, something like that, uh, and a big fuck off orange, which once you peeled, like the orange was like that, but once you peeled it, it was like that, because it was just fucking, it was just all, like, uh, it was all peel and stuff, right? Yeah, man. Uh, so that was my favourite meal and What I'd do is uh, I'd open my, um, I'd, I'd open the baguette, right? And what I'd do, I'd, I'd open it up, and then I'd, I'd line it with crisps and stuff. So I'd make like a crisp butty, come chicken tikka, I'd squish it all up and I'd tear into that bad boy and it'd be demolished within like a minute or two because I'm a greedy bastard. Um, they used to have a baguette day on a Wednesday at Forest Bank, the other prison I've been in, the Cat B prison ran by Sedex or Justice Services private prison or prisons for profit uh, as, as they're known and stuff. Uh, and on a Wednesday, what they did there, it wasn't my favourite meal, but they used to have a baguette and you could have cheese, turkey, ham. So I used to have beef uh, and we used to... Um, we used to because we was cleaners and stuff, and we like the toaster was in the server. We toast our bread, right? we'd hot butter it, we'd bang the beef on there or turkey or chicken or whatever we was having, uh, and then again crisps and stuff like that, mayonnaise, and scram the fucking lot. Um, and then they had soup as well. The soup was horrific though, vegetable soup in a big green like container. Come on, and we used to have to dish it up and stuff, and it was just hanging. Um, but yeah, that was a Wednesday there. But my favourite meal in Forest Bank actually was um, there was a minty lamb casserole, right? And I went crazy for this shit. And I've had it. My mum made it for me when I got out, and it was fit. 
All it was really was like, um, it's supposed to be lamb, but it's probably a fucking horse or something. Probably last year's Grand National winner. Um, but it's some sort of meat. Um, you're not picky in prison, it just it just gets dealt to you. Uh, it was like a stewy casserole thing, and it had uh, some sort of meat in there, like a mince meat of some kind. Um, loads of lamb. Uh, it's supposed to be like a minty lamb, so I don't know if it was lamb. Lamb in prison, as you know. Doesn't always mean what it is on the tin. So yeah, minty lamb casserole, carrots, onions, dead stewy and stuff. And once it, once the lads, I said to the lads on the server, I said there uh, are loads of potatoes and stuff. And then um, once I'd finished mine, I say to the boys on the server, listen, keep that and whatever's left, let me have it. And I plate it up into my pad and I'd scuttle upstairs like a greedy fat bastard. Go to my pad with a load of bread and butter and be like, dipping it in. When I wasn't eating prison food and stuff like that, uh, I'll tell you what was a good meal actually as well. It's not the best meal, but the Christmas dinner as well at Forest Bank was actually banging. Uh, it was actually decent. I've had I've had a Christmas dinner in Strange Ways and I've had a uh, Christmas dinner in Forest Bank and uh, Forest Bank wins hands down. Um, I ordered turkey. It was actually really nice. Roast potatoes, which you could actually put the windows through. You chip your teeth on them. If you didn't, you could. If it wasn't for the plastic perplex glass in, in Forest Bank, you could honestly you could put people's windows through with that stuff. Uh, soggy horrible veg, uh, gravy, stuffing, stuffing board. Uh, we got a Christmas cooker, which I think had gone off. To be honest with you, it was dead mushy and shit. Yeah, a Christmas cooker. There was like a, I think like Christmas, like Christmas cake and like a, a white thing and stuff. I don't like sultanas and raisins because they're healthy for you and I'm a bit of a greedy bastard. So I used to turn my nose up at the desserts. And stuff. I don't like spotted dick and I don't like, I didn't like the Christmas cake uh, within prison and stuff. Uh, in Forest Bank, like saying, strange ways you just get all these oranges and stuff like that, these fucking oranges. I used to eat that many oranges, I'd give myself stomach ache, yeah. Um, in Forest Bank, um, the desserts were varied and stuff. Uh, I remember doing handouts. I was a cleaner, so we used to have to do handouts and stuff. So I'd hand out fucking donuts to people. The donuts were frozen. They come over frozen, right? They'd just been pulled out, ripped over, and you're trying to fucking break them off and hand them people with gloves on and stuff. And they're frozen, and everyone's like, well, what do you want me to do? I said, bro, it's fucking hell. I said, I've not made them frozen. I'm like, they've just come over from kitchens. Um, then you'd get like, uh, on a, I think it was a Tuesday or a Wednesday, the bananas used to come over, and I was cleaners and stuff, right? It was the only fresh veg, uh, fresh, uh, fruit that came over the even the apples were, were fucked man even i think the apples were defrosted came over battered and we just we'd hand out them and we tried to hold some back and then we'd hand out the when when it came to bananas it should have been banana day uh, we did with the banana rama run upstairs like we always used to take turns right running upstairs like that with the bananas yeah bang them in a cell bang them under somebody's pad and then once once we'd done the handouts and stuff and everything the bananas were all for the cleaners and I, i'm not really a big banana eater even though there are some over there um so we'd give out the bananas we'd share the bananas between the cleaners i used to give my my stretch away because i was just munching fucking malm sweets and fucking haribo and shit yeah um when i wasn't eating prison food if the, if the prison food was proper murky and horrible and stuff uh, which it often is in prison. You eat better in a cat B prison than you will a cat A because just the, just the food quality in, a, in strange ways and stuff was horrific. Um, you, you can cook in the kettle, uh, which is over there somewhere. Uh, you can cook in the kettle when you're in prison, which you can make. People make curries in there, stews, they fucking, you know what I'm saying? I used to, what I used to love doing, I used to love making my noodles and stuff. I'd live off noodles. Coley curry noodles or hot and spicy noodles in prison were banging, right? Check out Coley noodles online, guys. Cheap, nasty, but they fucking fit in prison. So what I'd do, I'd, I'd fill my bowl with hot water, because in strain, in Forest Bank, yeah, we don't have, you, you don't have a kettle in your pad, you've got a flask. So you fill your flask with hot water. I used to have like four flasks on a wing. Cover, cover my noodles, stick my plate over the top so all the condensation stays inside. Then I start to, to, to stir my noodles and stuff. Then I go to the sink, I drain a bit of it off. I'd add my, my my powder and stuff and my spices. Mix it, mix it, mix it. And sometimes what I'd do, I'd order like um, a ham salad, right? Me eating salad, you're joking, aren't you? So I'd take the ham or the chicken or the turkey. And then what I'd do, I'd slice it, pop, 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 chop it up, chop it up. I don't know what that pop, 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 noise was about. Um, but yeah, and then what I used to do, I used to put the, the beef or the, the, the turkey or whatever it was into the noodles some people some some of the cleaners would put um like would put tuna they buy tuna like this the the john west tuna sassy is like lime and pepper and stuff yeah or tomato and basil they rip them off and they put them in with the noodles pat it all out and stuff and then we'd scrap it and stuff it was always it was always hungry some big lads in jail yeah man a lot of them were in the gym a lot all the time um 
if, if, you, if you're in a position where people have got to send your money in and you are working within prison, then um, it's what prisoners do. They buy a load of food off the canteen um, and then they, they box it up, put it under the bed, put it in the pad. Um, and then, like I say, you, you make do with what you've got and stuff. And it's as simple as that, really, guys. Prison food isn't the best, but you're in prison. You can't really complain. Um, I'm interested to know from you guys. A lot of people that follow me, guys, that have been in jail. They know the score and stuff. Um, have you... What what did you used to cook in the kettle? What did you used to like eating? Um, what did you used to order on the canteen? What did you used to buy? Uh, what did you used to order on the food menu and stuff? Like, every week. I'll tell you what was a nice meal as well. They used to do a chicken burger, right... And what we used to do again, because we because we was cleaners and we had access to the server, we'd, we, we'd toast our bread, hot butter it, chicken, like a little chicken burger, bam, scran it. The chips were fit. Uh, on a Friday, like it's not unusual for people that are quite religious and stuff to have a fish Friday, big business in prison, everyone loves that shit. I used to love my fish Friday actually. Loads of mushy peas, loads of mushy peas. Um, Sunday dinners, you on a, on, a, on, a, on a weekend and stuff, you get like a... Like, uh, you could have a cut breakfast, so you're talking bacon, shit quality bacon, that's if you're not Muslim. Bacon, sausage, halal sausage, um, a boiled egg, I used to give mine away, I used to make my fart stink. I'm a bloke, Suma. Um, what else? Uh, tomatoes, uh, and I think beans, I can't remember if it was beans, hash browns, things like that. Um, so yeah, man, like I say, uh, people going to, oh yes, you eat like kings. It's like, mate, look at the quality of the food in prison, mate. If you can stomach pr prison food, right, you can stomach anything in the world. It's as simple as that. Like I say, some meals were better than others. Sometimes you did like lamb minty burgers or burgers. Again, toaster bun because we was cleaners. Hot butter, bam, straight down the old beans and smashed browns, man, laughing. Uh, hot dogs as well. You should love hot dogs as well. Food's food, man. Like I say, when you're in prison, if the meals was really shit, I just, I wouldn't even go down. I just, I go down, I get a dessert or something or an apple or whatever, I go back to my pad and I just, I just whip up some noodles and stuff. Uh, it's as simple as that. You could buy cereal on the canteen as well, crunchy nut cornflakes. I used to buy crunchy nut cornflakes on the canteen. Uh, big, I'd have to buy my own milk, my own milk, and my own milk. I used to pour them on and stuff. And then when the milk came over for a wing and stuff, um, as cleaners and stuff, right, we used to do a milk graft. Um, like loads and loads of crates would come over and they weren't enough screws to watch us so they'd go to the door and then as one of them would distract the screw and then the rest of them would run upstairs with the milk cartons and then we'd break them down and then it caused fucking pure problems you're, well, hold on, you're, you're supposed to share with me no, you're sharing with him, no, you're having me off hold on, where's my milk, where's my 12, where's my 12 milks and it used to cause fucking big problems and stuff. Re big in little things on the outside are big things in prison. People fighting over milk, people fighting over food. Uh, I saw two Hungarian guys knocking fuck out of each other because his pad mate that was Hungarian was battered by him because he ate his biscuits and it goes on that way. People stealing tellies from each other, s selling the tellies to get fucking spice or fucking whatever. Funny shit, man. Right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to donate to my channel or enter the competition. Because right now, there's four people in there and four people are going to win. So it just depends. So each person that's entered so far, all four of them, right, they're all going to win something. Like I say, whether the top two, the top, the first two names that will be drawn out by Frenchie next week if this TV appearance comes off, um, they'll win uh, two prison mobile, like one prison mobile phone, a sign book, and some black soap. The other person, the second person drawn out will win uh, a Zanko mobile phone, a sign book and uh, some black soap. The the third and fourth will get a sign book, uh, signed by reform gangster Stephen French from Liverpool. Uh, this guy's coined it all. Um, and then some black soap, which I swear by, by the way. And it, like I say, if you, if you want to enter, you enter. If you don't, you don't. But right now, there's four people in it and they've got a one in four chance of winning. The more people that enter... Simple, really, isn't it? Right, guys, um, on that note, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to donate to my channel or into the competition, my bank details are in the, bank in the description below. Uh, and comment on the video, let me know what you think. Right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Speak to you all soon. Bye.